Well, many scientists say that climate change is putting the Earth at risk. And this is a central issue at the World Economic Forum, which is in full swing in Switzerland right now. Right now, let's go to the host city of Davos, located in the Swiss Alps. The leaders in world economics are all there. The Weather Channel has a contingent there, and our own Jim Cantori is part of that contingent. He caught up with a special guest. Let's talk to Mr. Keith Weed, the Chief Marketing and Communications Officer for Unilever. And uh, you, know, you deal with a lot of consumer products globally, and I mean, you move a lot of products across the globe. But what's interesting is if you look at all the supplies that you need, if the weather is such a factor in one area, that means you're not going to get those supplies in another area. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we, we I mean, serve consumers. Weather's huge for you. Absolutely. We serve consumers around the world. Right. Uh, but of course, we're sourcing products from around the world. So we're in 180 countries uh, and we, we're a very mass market. You know, it's everyday products, shampoos and stuff like that uh, and food stuff. So the, the weather impact on, on foods, I think people can understand, you know, reasonably easily. If there's floods, that's going to impact. If there's droughts, that's going to impact. But it goes further than that. It also goes into, into raw materials. When the snow happened in 2009 in China, a lot of raw materials didn't get out of China. And, and that affects supplies and, and ultimately prices as well. Well, of course, food doesn't just show up on its own. And soap doesn't just show up on its own. There's packaging involved and things like that. What have you guys done to reduce your carbon footprint? Well, we made a commitment three years ago uh, to double our business because we want to serve uh, more consumers around the world, but halve our environmental footprint. Um, and for a company of our size and scale, we're over 50 billion euros, that's a, 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 big, a big task. Uh, and we've got 50 time-based uh, commitments, but things like uh, source all our agricultural raw sustainably by 2020. You know, we're the largest tea um, uh, marketer in the world, and that's a lot of tea, 12% of the world's tea. Wow. But we want to source it all uh, sustainably by 2020. We've already achieved with palm oil. So palm oil, last year, uh, we're now sourcing it all sustainably. So these are big yeah. tasks. Are there things that are easier? to have less footprint with, if you will, and, and, and then there are others. Yes, I and mean, like food, obviously, you, you can't just let that in light packaging go out there, right? Well, yes, but we, we look at uh, the whole footprint. Um, so when we uh, look at the footprint, it's not just the product. Uh, we look at the whole value chain. So when we say we want to reduce our environmental footprint, we look at sourcing right way through to consumer use and disposal. Uh, so that means in some of our products, it's, it's the water use. Um, you know, if you shampoo, it's, it's the water you're using in the shower, or it's the, it's the heating the water you're using in the shower. Uh, and so we don't just look at the product, we look at the, the whole value chain. Well, good luck, Keith. Thanks very Thanks much for talking to us, buddy.